uh, the problem with architecture today in China is that developers are very greedy. They want things faster and faster, and they want to make as much money as possible. So it's not never an aesthetic decision nor a programmatic issue. It's whatever makes the most money. And so if you don't take a commission, an architect, they'll give it to the next one that's standing in line. Yeah, so architects are put under intense pressure. Interior designers and product designers are given this intense pressure. So the talents among the product designers, they tend to go designing for phones and cars because that's where the money is. Yeah? And so tableware, tableware um, uh, things that are perhaps cheaper or furniture are not taken care of. And, and I think that's a very dangerous phenomenon. Um, that, that our society cannot continue. China as a society cannot continue this route. We're in, they're going to try to be bigger than America, faster than America. I think this phenomena, if it's not stopped, I think it, it will have colossal effect. I do believe that architects in China are lost, but I also believe that architects all over the world are lost. We can also use technology in many ways to replace an architect's role uh, from before. You can probably 3D printing for one, or being able to, um, you know, buy on Taobao uh, 50, uh, 50 RMB, which is uh, five euros. Uh, you can probably buy a complete set of plans for a house. So, uh, you know, why would you need to uh, hire an architect to work on a project from beginning to the end? So I think the architect's role in the society is quite different, um, but I don't think they are, they have no value. I think they actually should take on new value in terms of how they um, can be innovative um, in, in producing architecture. Defining what good is, um, I feel that our contemporary society, there's no one definition for anything anymore. Maybe it used to be, uh, and also, you know, beauty, for example. Uh, these, these, um, these terms are no longer um, carry this traditional value that they used to. Um, and because of that, I think we need to challenge ourselves when we use a word, when we define it as good or bad, why is it, what is good and what is bad. Um, we should not stop thinking, stop being critical uh, of what we do. I think we're not just thinking design with a big D or architecture with a big A. We're starting to question programs. We're even starting to question business models. Um, how do you actually work with developers? How do you work with internet company? How do you deal with this whole shareism community? Perhaps we don't design objects anymore, maybe we design infrastructure. So we're really thinking this through as a process. People nowadays are more interested in the bigger, the fastest, the tallest building. Frankly, I'm not that interested in that. Definitely not bigger projects. Um, but more interesting projects and projects that will point to how to resolve some of our some of our problems uh, in our city, in our homes, uh, in our products and point to some answers in the future. The most important thing is to be significant in what you do. Uh, once there's no more contribution in what you do, I think you should let the younger generation do it and sit aside and drink a cup of coffee and be happy. Otherwise, you're more a demise to the society.